Hi, welcome to my channel. Today we are going to be unboxing a Kiwi Crate for April and I'm very excited to open this up. The title itself just made me really excited to see what this month is all about. So if you are new to my channel, I created this channel as a homeschooling resource to make sure we're continually learning and to give you different unboxings like I'm doing today, to give you curriculum ideas and different spiritual insights I have. So if you're interested in those things, please hit that subscribe button below and let's open this box. So first it says the science of trees, which sounds very exciting, but then also the description says, try a capillary action experiment and build a balancing tree game. So I feel like it just sounds really cool to me. <laughs> And so I'm excited to see what it actually is. So when we open it up, this is our little picture on the top <laughs> and it does look pretty cool. I'm excited about this. So here's our instructions. So that's what this picture looks like right there. And again, this is the instructions. I'm not gonna read them to you, but they're very detailed and I think they just do a great job at explaining everything that you're supposed to do. and. If you mess up, they usually have something for you that you, they're like, oh, we already know that you were gonna mess that up. So here's what you do. <laughs> so they're really good at that. So here's all the instructions. And then we have the little extra explorer book. And I really love this book. I think it's great and it has all these different things. I'm sure it has stuff that talks about capillary action in it and different things and experiments you can do at home. And then it has a game. And I think usually it has some sort of food. Yep, you can do it at the back. That also has to do with capillary action. So that's really cool. So we have this little thing. It has a little die in the middle and some numbers and different colors right there. And then we have some liquid color right here, probably for our capillary action. And then we have a bunch of little clips like paper clip things <laughs> and then a little tray maybe to mix colors or put them in and then these are like little die cut flowers this might be what we're doing the capillary action with to see how it like bleeds through them and then we have some green little strings and i don't know what this is it has a bunch of stickers and it's kind of heavy it has some like clear plastic right here so it'll be interesting to see what that's for and here's all the parts to our tree which i just think it looks super cool so i'm just excited for my son to do this maybe i should do it <laughs> just don't tell him it's here and i'll do the project and then this i don't know what this is for maybe to hold the capillary action things i'm not really sure i'm trying to see how many times i can say capillary action in this intro and i think i've done a pretty good job so far so that's all that's in the box and so I'm going to let my son get at it and we will let you know how it goes. kiwi crate and it was really a lot of fun i actually really really enjoyed this month's crate so do you want to show them a few of the things you did what are you going to show them first mm -hmm. you don't need to show them the book okay <laughs> so whoop. so he made two of these using capillary action so they're pretty cool it was really cool to watch the dye i guess just come up the stem and fill the flowers and then you get to make a little art project with them after they sit for a day so one thing about this is it gives you enough stuff for two hold on we're not ready for that but it gives you only enough clips to do one so the clips let me see so they're just these kind of clips right here and so they give you enough for one 
and then it, they say to let it sit up for like overnight so it can dry. So I had extra clips, like my own clips, so we were able to start on the second one. So if you don't have extra clips, you might have to find another way to prop up the first one or just let it dry overnight and then do the other one. Or maybe it's fine if it lays down and dries. I'm not really sure we didn't try that, but that's just something to note. So I really enjoyed these. I thought it was really fun and really cool. Okay, what's the other one? What? Tree. <laughs> tree. So this is a fun game that it's a balancing tree. So right here, when you set it down, this isn't flat. So it kind of wiggles all over the place. And then it has these different colors here because it's actually a game. And so then it has all the pieces and the die right here and the kids play. And so you'll be able to watch it them has playing. The, stickers. the book has a sticker on it. So the cool thing about this game, I think it's in this one actually. So at the back of the instructions, so here's the tree and it tells you how to play the game. And then on this side, it tells you the different colors mean when you roll them. And then if you roll this one, that's kind of like a caution sign, it means some sort of disaster happened. And so then you'll roll the die again. And down here, it tells you what kind of disaster. So if you rolled a one, it would say there's a tornado, so you need to blow up the tree or <laughs> like that. Or a drought, so you need to uh, lose all the roots in the brown section. So that's why these are all color coded because then you take away the roots or the leaves in a certain section or there's an earthquake, so a whole bunch fall off. So I just thought it was really cool. It was a really creative game. That's the earthquake apparently. <laughs> it was a really creative play game for them to play and uh, to learn more about trees. I don't know what we're showing you here. Oh, <laughs> so again, in this book, it has a bunch of different activities. So you could do some more stuff with capillary action and like actual flowers if you wanted, if you can even get flowers right now. And so, and then it had the little craft at the back that this isn't actual capillary action, but it's just showing the straw going through the flower, showing how it would actually work in a plant and how it sucks up the liquid. So we really enjoyed this craft this month, huh? Mm -hmm. What was your favorite part? Hmm. Hmm. Making these. Making these, the flowers. Those were a lot of fun, huh? And making the, the, these parts of them. The picture frame. Mm -hmm. What do you think was hard? Was there something that was hard? The bottom of this tree. Oh yeah, it, I had to help put the base on the tree. It was kind of hard for him to get the paper and the base on. So all in all, it was a lot of fun. If you're wondering what's going on with his head here, he decided to fall on a rock the other day and luckily they were able to just use glue and didn't have to do stitches, but so now he has a nice cut on his eye. <laughs> so that's what we've been doing during this time of social distancing is trying to go to the hospital as much as possible. <laughs> Anyways, we really enjoyed our crate this month and I'm excited to see what next month brings us. It's, it's like a spinner. It's like a spinner. Okay, can you say bye? Bye. <laughs>